Hello people, this is Code Grind, and in today's video, we'll be creating a custom checkbox using CSS3. The checkbox which we'll be creating today looks something like this a circular checkbox instead of the traditional square one. And when I click on this, it gets checked, and the background color gets changed, and we get this tick icon which I have used from Font Awesome. And when I uncheck it, it goes back to the original form. I have already created another kind of custom checkbox which was in the form of a toggle switch. If you want to learn, how to make that then you can go to the description box for the link of that video and you can also click on the link above now let's get started with this checkbox so let's get straight into it now we only need a few things to get started first of all this external css file in which we'll be doing all the styling part and this link for the font awesome website from where we'll be using the tech icon i'll give a link to my personal kit code for font awesome you can go visit the website and you can find 1600 free icons to use in your project it really provides you with a great amount of icons so let's get started with our html part now First of all, we'll have our div with a class container. It will hold everything and then just a heading uh, custom checkbox using CSS3. Yeah, this is the heading and then we'll have our checkbox inside a div with a class of checkbox. So this will be input type is equal to checkbox. We don't need the name. We don't need the ID as well. Yeah, so we have got our basic HTML part over here. Now let's get into the styling. So for the styling, we'll start by nullifying the browser's default settings at first. That is, we'll give it a margin zero, padding zero, uh, box sizing of border box, and at last, a font family of pop-ins. It is a very good font. If you want to use it, I'll give a link in the description from where you can download it and install it in your systems. Now let's design our body tag. So for that, uh, first of all, we'll give it a background color of hash 091921 change its color to white yeah and then align everything to the horizontal center by giving the display flex uh, justify content of center yeah and at last a text align of center so this is it for the body tag now let's design our heading increase its font size uh, to 2m and giving the margin top of 3m left and right of 0 and bottom of 2m so we are done with our heading as well now let's design our input uh, the checkbox so first of all we'll select our input a tag and give it a position of a relative now basically what we are going to do is we cannot actually change this check checkbox we can't give it shapes but the thing which we will be doing is we will be using the pseudo elements that is the after and the before el pseudo elements to create a new element and place it above the existing checkbox so that the this uh, square checkbox is hidden and it is covered by the before and after pseudo elements so this is what we will be uh, actually doing in this video so now uh, to place it in reference to this checkbox we have given it a position of relative now we will select our before pseudo element yeah so if to select the uh, pseudo elements we use double colons you can also use single colons but the new method is to use double colons and now we'll give it a position of absolute and content of nothing because we don't want any text or anything right now uh, this mentioning the content property is very is necessary if we are using before and after pseudo elements without it you won't see anything if you use them a height of 40 pixels a width of 40 pixels and by default the background color will be same as the body tags background color and we'll also give it a border of one pixel solid white so now i hit save and we get this square shaped uh, before element we'll give it a border radius of 50 percent so that makes it circular but it is right now it is not exactly placed at the center of the checkbox so to place it like that we'll give it a top of 50 percent uh, left of 50 percent but still it is not placed perfectly now to place it perfectly we'll give it a transform translate of minus 50 percent comma minus 50 percent 
so now it is placed exactly where we want it to be and now we'll give it a cursor of pointer so that when we hover over it it looks clickable and the last thing which we need to do is give it a transition so that when the background color is changed it is a smooth change and we see some animation over there so 0 0.3 seconds all ease yeah now what we need to do is whenever this checkbox is checked uh, we need to change uh, the background color of this before pseudo element so for that we will select our input tag and now when it is checked so to check whether it is checked or whether it is checked or not we have another pseudo element is uh, not a pseudo element a pseudo class which we use with single colon and its name is checked so this uh, the properties which we write inside it will only work when the input is checked and now we want to change the before element so we will select the before element as well and change its background color we are going to use the dark can background color and we will also change its border to one pixel solid dark can so you see right now the checkbox was checked already so we got this background color but now when I reload it it is not checked right now and when I click on it it gets checked and the background color is changed and on clicking again again it uh, the check uh, it gets unchecked and checked and the properties are applied according to it now if I give it a top of 200 pixels let's say for now now you will be able to see the changes actually when I click on it the original checkbox works as it originally works but the before elements are also altered according to it so we are doing nothing but positioning this before element exactly on the top of the uh, by default checkbox now let's switch it back to 50 percent yeah now we need to place that tick so we will be using the tick icon from fort awesome now if you want to use in it it in html so the way of using it is uh, giving it inside an i tag and providing it with a specific class the class name you can get from the website but we want to use it in css so to use it in css we have a different concept so for that let's first go here and when the input is checked then we'll select the after pseudo element now give it a position of absolute and now for the content we'll have the icon over here we didn't have any content so we left it blank but here we have the icon so font awesome provides us with various unicodes for various icons you can go to the website click on any icon and you will get the unicode for it now the unicode for the tick icon is f00c but we also need to add a slash over here before the unicode and the css won't recognize it uh, until and unless we give it a font family of font awesome so mentioning the font family of font awesome is very necessary otherwise it won't uh, recognize this unicode and now let's give it a color of white hit save and now when it gets checked uh, we get this take icon as well so this is how you can create a custom checkbox using css3 and uh, an icon from font awesome and if you like the video then don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such amazing tutorials on css and javascript and thank you for watching